Hey YouTube, it's RC Action Australia here. Just a quick video, I picked up a Tamiya TT, a TB01 German Rally Championship um, car. So, obviously we'll, we'll get to the box in a moment, but we'll have a look at the car. So you can obviously see this is the 97 to 99 WRX WRC 22B body. Um, said not too bad a shape. It is used. Um, obviously doesn't have the original sticker kit that is on that. So if we look at the body then, uh, painted the correct colour. The body's in pretty good condition for its age. Uh, someone's just put a Castrol sort of livery on it instead of the German rally. So if we have a quick look at the chassis here, we have a pretty good condition Tamiya TB01. Um, obviously not correct, they're the correct wheels, but not the correct color, because they're gold, but we'll get to that in a second. CVA dampers, pretty standard for Tarba radio gear here. Um, and I said, I've sort of cleaned this car off a bit, and it's a, pretty, it's a good solid car, I've just given it a bit of a run. <clears throat> Everything works nicely. Um, so yeah, so now we'll get on to the exciting part. So the box over here is not in fact the box for this car. It is in fact the box for a brand new unopened Rally Champion 1999 TB01. So I didn't, I liked this car and I liked the idea of it and it was different to the normal blue with the yellow stickers but I didn't want to sort of rush in and build it because I've been told by some people that this is a pretty rare kit and I did pick this up very very cheap. So this is a complete TB01, everything's in original packets, dust covers, drivers, body shell, this is here obviously you've got your motor and everything, it hasn't even been opened, that's still sealed. Um, so you've got your, all your old school um, paperwork that come with it. So let's bring back to this car here. Is that I wanted to, I haven't heard fantastic things about the TB01. So I thought, I had a friend of mine who had, had this German Rally TB01 sitting on his shelf, used, dirty. So I managed to swap him another one of my cars for it. And he knew that I had the new in-box set and sort of understood that, um, you know, if I kept that. So the other th pretty cool thing too is that I actually also have another body. So that's a genuine 1998 Tamiya 99, or 97 to 99 body shell, so it's the exact same shell as what's in that kit and the, obviously the orange one that I've got and I actually have a set of the correct wheels as well, just need to get some new tyres because they're a bit had it and I've obviously got a, a wing set that obviously I just need to repaint. So what the plan is guys is to actually have a full replica, well a, a, a full sort of replica TB01, with, and I've got MCI decals on the way, so I'll have it full livery as per the box art, plus I'll have like a basher shell, and I'll still have an original in-box kit. So, as I said, it's pretty cool, I, I, some of these older cars, a lot of people talk about the boxes, in-box kits and things like that, so... Um, so I'll probably leave that as part of a collection and then that way I can still have a runner of the exact same car. So as I said, hit like and subscribe guys. I've got a few other things coming up, a few other builds and videos. Let me know what you think. Uh, if anyone's got any sort of comments on what works well in the TB01. Currently it's got a modified Fireball 21 turn motor. It's pretty standard Tamiya electrics by the look of it. So uh, I have run it. Heat wise, it's fine, it doesn't overheat or anything. So, um, anyway, just let me know what you think, guys. Cheers.